Feels like if you have a trophy room, it serves the purpose of showing others your trophies. So I, I assume this is where you can be and this is where your friend can be, who will, who will admire your trophies and then they will offer to touch your butt very, very elegantly because they will be impressed by your trophy collection. Right? Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome back to another mod spotlight. Today we are checking out the Coastal Cottage Bunker. This is the fourth build from Red Rocket TV, a man who creates very very nice interiorly, desi interiorly designed... I don't know where I find these words, but interiorly designed places. And uh, this is his latest one, but he made like several, several of them. And we're gonna go in reverse order. So since I did not check out uh, his stuff, we're gonna go with the newest one and then we're gonna go towards the oldest one. Hopefully that is not gonna be a problem. This uh, is his newest one, like I said, and you gotta go down here. See? It's different. This is where the, the Mirelurks were, but they are not here anymore. And my character here, this guy, he is called Observer. I will use him to observe mods. Hmm? Uh-huh. Is that a good idea? I think that's a pretty decent idea, all right? Observer is an Asian man who has uh, 10 intelligence and he has a couple of other things. 10 perception, 10 intelligence and 4 endurance. That's all he needs. He needs the endurance to be 4 so, uh, so his body can keep up with his brain as he is exploring the places. All right? All right. That is, that is something that I think it's a pretty decent idea. So, Buster's Bunkers. Ah, you are about to enter another fine bunker build with pride by Buster's Bunkers, Boston's best bunker builders. See, I really like how he made it, uh, he made it an entire thing, also when you load the game, I'm not really sure is it like a magazine cover or a poster, is gonna show up on your loading screen for this particular bunker, and uh, in order to get into the bunker we gotta go in the elevator. Going down. Going down. So instead of a loading screen, you have an elevator. This is something that I talked about before. I really like that when instead of a loading screen, you have an elevator or, you know, something else that uh, resembles an elevator. What are things that resemble elevators? You know, those those things, what do you call them? When you enter them and then it it carries you across a mountain on a line. Uh, what's, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I don't know what's it called! Shh. Doesn't matter, we're gonna get into the bunker. I'm also using the Pilgrim mod, the Pilgrim ENB preset and uh, music. Not really sure is it active here. Maybe this bunker overwrites the music. Not really sure, but here it is. This is... The Pilgrim is going to stay, alright? I'm gonna continue using the Pilgrim, I'm gonna continue using the red design and everything. Because uh, I need a change, alright guys? We need to change. Fallout 4, in its basic form, is not not good enough. You also might have noticed the overgrowth mod back outside with a lot of greenery. That fucking shit combined with Pilgrim changes everything completely. I mean, it's it's similar to Frost with Pilgrim. Overgrowth with Pilgrim makes it seem like the game is from a few thousand years in the future. When, you know, the sun got weaker and everything grew back, so uh, it can be used for uh, different kinds of roleplay as well, if you are into that kind of thing. So uh, definitely check out all of these mods, they are all very, very good. So this is the entrance. I also have the blueprint for the bunker, that is pretty awesome. You know, that he made an entire blueprint in the style of Fallout. So this is the entrance way terminal. The terminal itself, it is a little bit dark due to all of these fucking mods that I'm using and the fact that I'm using the red color. But we have the bunker information that uh, gives us information about every room. Every single room. We have all the information in the world. Water purification systems. Look at this. The bunker is equipped with a Mr. Purifier MK2 water purification unit. Can you imagine that? It has everything you need. Beautiful. Armor display as well, you can change, you can go into settings and change the armor mannequin gender. It, it flips them around and uh, you gotta be careful, you're gonna lose progress. You're gonna lose the items on the male gendered mannequin if you switch it to the female. So you gotta remove the items before changing the stuff, otherwise it's all gonna go to poop. All gonna go to poop. And there's communication logs as well. See, you can... Uh, you can learn about the history of the bunker, which is awesome. 
is pretty awesome as well. So definitely check that out as well. I'm not going to show you all of the details, all right? Because I actually want you guys to download this, all right? The point of these videos, these mod spotlights, is to let you know of the existence of the mod and get you curious enough to try it out yourself, all right? That is the plan here. It's not my plan to show you everything so you don't have to get it. My plan is to get you interested so you get it yourself. Now, with the effects of the Pilgrim mod, this bunker kind of makes it very claustrophobic, alright? When I was going through it for the first time, half an hour ago, I felt claustrophobic, alright? I, I started clenching my butthole and it wasn't very pleasant. But I guess that is the point, right? That's the feeling that you should get when you are in a post-apocalyptic bunker trying to survive. Oh, trash compactor. Oh, nice! We got a trash compactor over here. That is pretty cool. A large toolbox. Yeah, I did not notice this. So you have the ladder and also something that I noticed. See these ventilation ducts? That is pretty awesome. And see how uh, there's effects going from the pipes and these ventilation things up here. I mean, that, that creates a lot of immersion. That And th these are these little details when you are building your bunker yourself. These little details completely make the bunkers. Because you gotta make them feel like like they are these tight spaces that you, you where you don't wanna be, but you gotta ha you have to be there because you know if you go outside you're gonna die. So these things, these ventilation ducts, the pipes, and uh, well you can't really add these uh, smoky effects. Well you can, there are mods that add smoke and stuff. So you could find all of the mods you need to not use the creation kit and uh, create such immersion in a bunker. So this is the storeroom. If we follow, if we follow the <laughs> the beautiful blueprint, it's awesome. We have the elevator entrance, the entrance way. This is the storeroom. As you can see, it has a couple of things. It even has a flamingo and some uh, leftovers from Nuka World, so the people here were also from Nuka World. They visited Nuka World, maybe? I don't know. Now, if we go over here, this is the access hole going towards the work bay. This is the work bay. Now, I am impressively impressed by the work bay. Impressively impressed. Look at this. Look at this here. Look at the effects. And you can go over here. Vent shield. You can cover it up. Interactivity, bro. Interactivity. Can you imagine that? It's amazing. And we have these fancy power armor stations where we can display the power armors. And this is where we have the armor racks that can get switched with uh, female racks. Now, each room has its own terminal as well. It has... Each terminal has the stuff from that terminal and uh, from uh, all of the other stuff. See? We can uh, stockpile different things. So basically, if you come here with a lot of items, you can simply open the terminal and the terminal is going to transfer the items for you uh, within each of the sections, which is, isn't that amazing? See, melee weapon storage, basically you go over here, press a button and your items go here. Is that not amazing? That is pretty amazing. So if we go down here, am I repeating myself a lot? Probably, but that is for the effect, you know? Because sometimes you want to repeat yourself to enhance the effect of what you're saying. But if you do it too often, then you're actually gonna hurt yourself and uh, hurt what you wanna say. So you should probably uh, control that. So robotics lab terminal. We have the robo robotics lab as well. We can still stockpile all of the stuff. Build me into a robot. Build me into a robot, please. Maybe not. Observer just observes. He does not uh, do anything else. Isn't that right, Observer? He looks like an alien. Like an alien. Right? I try to make him look a little bit of an alien. Not really sure did I succeed. I mean, his head is a little bit alieny, right? And he is a very skinny guy. But yeah, this is... Uh, wait, this, this is what? The robotics lab, yes. This is the robotics lab. We also have uh, the medical bay terminal here. So, wait, this is the medical bay. Ah, yes, this is the medical bay. The robotics lab is connected to the work bay. We also have the Autodoc MK2. 
We can activate, we can heal ourselves, remove rats, detoxify and do nothing. Oh, well, that's pretty awesome. Huh. Is this, does this exist in the game? I have, I actually have no idea. I guess it does. And uh, these are the other uh, things here. A lot of medical storage as well. Dude, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm alone over here. I get scared. Observer just observes. All right. Well, I should probably stop clicking things then. If uh, I'm only observing things. But I gotta click things, all right? Interactivity, guys. Interactivity. Something everyone loves. So that is the uh, the end of this section. Can't do much. And then we gotta go forward. Once we go forward, we go into the living room. Now, after the living room, we can go right. Well, I should probably showcase the living room as well. I, I don't know. For some reason, I wanted to skip the living room immediately. Not really sure why why I wanted to do that. We got a TV that doesn't work, obviously. We got a nice big sofa. Over here we have uh, a dog bed. <laughs> Use your own bed. So this is where the dog can sleep. We have a music system as well for the dog. Very considerate. We have the fish tank viewport right here. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? It is quite barren, there's not a lot of fish inside, but uh, I bet Dragast would love this shit. He would love it. He's a big fan of fish. Wait, uh, how do you call a person who, who likes having aquariums? An aqu aquarist? A fishist? Fetish? F fishist? Aqu aquariumist? I don't know. I don't know. But, where was I going? I was going on the other side, yes. But yeah, there are a lot of details. See see the ducts again? And the big duct over here. The, the ventilation... Uh, the, the vent thing. These vent... These vent things... They're by far the greatest contributor of the uh, effects. Don't do that. Don't open the doors automatically of the bunker bunkerish effects that it gives. It, it really does feel like it's something that would exist. And... Uh, that just impresses me all the time. Now, if we go over here, you know, this is uh, this, this is where we go back. Now, if we go right, we go towards the hydroponics. Now, if you read the things, if you read the terminals, you'll find out that uh, all plants grow in a span of 48 hours because of uh, the design here. See, we can turn on the hydroponics system. See, and the plants grow very, very rapidly, which is very, very nice. So, uh, in each two days, you're going to have big fruits so it can uh, provide with a lot of uh, well free farming i guess or quick farming and everyone knows that we can uh, get a lot of adhesive from uh, farming so uh, it would be very very useful to get a lot of adhesive to use this farm here and we got the uh, see the purifier is over here purify all of my dirty water very highly advanced stuff right here and look at this more pipes, more smoke. So basically, if you're building your own bunker, this is what you should focus on. You shouldn't focus on these things here. These things are easy to build. You should focus on the little things, the greebles. The greebles, that's the word. Goddamn greebles. Took me a long time to understand that word. Just made no sense. Greeble. Never heard of that fucking word. But, but these are the things. The greebles. The pipes. The ventilation things. See how... See how this is designed to have, uh, look, see the, the big concrete blocks that go through the bunker and then you have these lights attached on the big, big uh, cement or concrete boulder things. It's also very nice. Just very nice design, beautiful design. So after the hydroponics, we have on the side the lounge. This is the lounge here. Beautiful lounge. See a little mini bar over here. We have the. Ooh. Excellent. Ha! Welcome to your new home at the Coastal Cottage Bunker. As a housewarming gift, the crafting recipe for the Bunker Brew, a unique alcoholic drink item, has been unlocked and can be crafted at any cooking station. Enjoy your new home. Oh, that's very nice. Some alcohol always helps get the edge off. We got the, the beautiful calendar over here another TV here it does feel inspired by something uh, from real life 
Look at these stairs as well. Beautiful. We have the commissary system as well. See? This is where we can uh, get items and take items and put items. The lounge terminal. Like I said, each room has its own terminal. Over here we have the bar of lights. We can turn them on and off. Very, very cool stuff. And if we want to go forward, we can go to the kitchen. Now, the kitchen does not... It's a dead end. It is... Uh, completely separated from the other side of the bunker. We have the refrigerator that is empty. A beautifully designed kitchen. See how it's... Uh, see this corner? The corner top over here. Very nicely done. I mean, it's just lovely design. See? You got more fans over here. The ducts. They're everywhere. Over here as well. These two cement blocks on the sides. Dog food being consistent. Dog bed, dog food. Even though it's probably not wise to have the dog food in the kitchen. I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people advise to keep the dog food in the bathroom, right? That's what we did when I had a cat. We kept the food in the bathroom. Because that seemed like uh, the logical choice. Because if they make a mess, it's better if they made a mess in the bathroom. And... Uh, if you put it in the kitchen, then it kind of, you know, the animal food gets mixed with the normal food. It feels like, feels like it's not appropriate to place it there. But maybe we are we are weird. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. Maybe that's not the the wise thing to do. No clue. All right. Had a cat completely blindly. I mean, now when I think about it, it's so cringeworthy how we treated that poor cat and how the poor cat treated us because. Of how we treated him it was just it was a horrible relationship but the dude lived more than he should have because uh, he would have died if he stayed outside the sister sister brought him home and then we uh, forcefully had him because he hid behind our furniture and after a couple of days of hiding we decided to keep him and after a couple of years we sent him over to my grandma's village where he unfortunately died but he lived eight years, and if he stayed outside in front of our building, he would have lived maybe a couple of weeks. So, uh, the poor guy lived lived a better life than he uh, probably should have. He was saved. But if I have... Ha I plan to have more cats in the future when I move into my own place, and I do not believe I'm gonna keep the food in the kitchen. I just... I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it just does not... It doesn't sound right. But aside from that, the kitchen very nice, see a lot of pipes. What's also important is that the pipes, uh, if you if you look at everything here, and you know that the pipes kinda, now just let me go over here. Now look at the pipes over here. See the pipes going here? They're going towards there. And now if we go over here, we also know that if we go down, See the pipes? Where are the pipes here? There's no pipes here, but we have the pipes here, see? And now we can assume that the pipes... See, the pipes are going behind over there, and this is where the vents are. So the pipes are going behind everything, and they are connected to everything on the other side. Right? They are connected over here. And then they go back through here, and they go back up. So it's all connected, and it makes sense, and I like it. Now if we go... Nice. Nice head, bro. So now if we go left, we go to the bedroom. This is the bedroom. If I look at the design, the main bedroom, yes, the main bedroom can go to the laundry or the trophy room. But this is the bedroom and we can also open up... Open up this where we can find the Bunker Buster! Look at it. Ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Bunker buster, baby. Beautiful. Can I uh, can I not take it? I would like to, to uh, not... I guess I have to take it. Okay, I'm gonna put him back. Put that back. Put that... Put that back, you asshole. Stop pressing the wrong button. Uh, Just pr press the button. Press the button! Alright. I don't care. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. Uh, I guess I should take the missiles as well. Take the 
take everything and then close it back. Close it back. Excellent. So this is where we can nicely sleep. We have the lights over here. We got more armor racks and clothing lockers and armor rock, rock, rockers. <laughs> rockers. We have the observer's terminal. Uh, I did not plan this. <laughs> Hello, observer. I guess this... I guess they... Uh, so he adapts the terminal to the name of the player. Uh-huh. So this becomes our disengage lock. Locking mechanism disabled. Engage lock. No, no, no. Disengage lock. So we disengage the lock. And I, I remember that he talked something about this. So we disengage the lock. And is this the safe? Oh, computer sounds. Oh, that's nice. Wait, wait, let's... Let's lock the safe. Engage lock. Engage lock, and if we engage the lock... Aha! This is the safe. Very cool. Very cool! The trophy room is right here. This is where we can basically collect things. So, if you collect something that you don't necessarily need to use, but you want to place it at a nice spot, you can place it here. In the trophy room. With a lot of other trophies. See, magazine racks, armor racks, you got the... These are the weapon racks here. Very nice. And we got another dog bed over here, so this is where you can, uh, I guess, sit down with your dog, admire your trophies, and, uh, I guess, uh, touch your own butt for it. I mean, it feels like... It feels like if you have a trophy room, it serves the purpose of showing others your trophies. So I, I assume this is where you can be, and this is where your friend can be, who will who will admire your trophies, and then they will offer to touch your butt very, very elegantly, because they will be impressed by your trophy collection. Right? Right. That should be the case. And if we carry on forward, we go to the laundry room. This is the laundry room, where we can obviously use the washer and the dryer. Uh, we got see the, the vault suit over here. Very nice. A lot of other things. See if we go look up. See? A lot of uh, ventilation. A lot of pipes here as well. See? Pipes are everywhere. And we got the bathroom and the rec room. So first we gotta go to the bathroom. Open the bathroom. How is it designed? Oh, I like this. Oh, I like when the, the shower is basically a part of, uh, a part of the room. You know, usually showers are separate showers, but this is very nicely linked together. Oh, that's very nicely done. I did not check the bathroom before. I just went through all of the rooms except for the bathroom and uh, I don't know if I visited the auxiliary bedroom or uh, auxiliary. That's the ox. That's what it means. Auxiliary, auxiliary, ag auxiliary. Uh, shut up. All right. So this is where the ventilation is. Beautiful. It needs a lot of ventilation because it's gonna get steamy. It's gonna get very steamy, especially if you start farting while taking a shower. I constantly do that. I constantly fart while taking showers. It's horrible because the whole purpose of taking a shower is to clean your asshole. So if you clean your asshole and then start farting again, especially if it's steamy and wet, it's just gonna make things worse, especially after it dries. Or if you go wipe your ass with the towel, you're, you're uh, wet and steamy and shitty ass with a towel, you're gonna ruin the entire towel. Especially, what if you wipe your ass before you wipe the rest of your body? Then you're just gonna keep wiping yourself with your own shit. That is why farting while taking showers is not good. Why would people... Why, why would the body do that? Why would the people allow the body to do that? Has there, has there not been enough genetic modification to just stop that? Just boggles my mind. But look at that. Very nicely designed. It does feel like a bathroom quite a bit. Here we have these towels over here and we got a towel on the outside. The the shit the shitter paper is nicely uh, adjusted. Toilet nicely adjusted. Everything very nicely adjusted. Here we have the rec room. The rec room is going downstairs. And this is where 
Buffy. He can uh, use the weight bench, or you can use, or we can use. Anyone can use. Anyone who comes here can play some uh, chess with uh, custom, custom parts. That is pretty cool. Are they the same though? See, because these parts should be the same. Well, somewhat, more or less, they are the same. Not completely, but more or less. Got the terminal as well. See, again, these concrete or cement boulders linked to, to the light. More ventilation everywhere. A big ventilation up here. Very nice. And the extra bedroom over here. Now, this is the bedroom for, I guess, the workers. Or who. But if, if you want to go to this bedroom, you got to go through the main bedroom. So, that's... It's kind of weird. Do you, do, do you keep the slaves here? In this room? I would keep the slaves here. The slaves, the, the hookers and, you know, the dungeon workers and that kind of stuff. I would keep keep them here. There is plenty of ventilation because plenty of people uh, should be here. And uh, nicely designed. Nicely designed! In th the entire place is really well done. I mean, even the floor. Look at the floor. It's just... It just feels like a very, very nice bunker. I don't think I have seen a better bunker. There has been a couple of bunkers that people made that were very, very impressive. But this bunker, it is big. It has a little bit of a backstory. Everything is, uh, you know, mapped out and planned out. And it's just, it's just really nicely done. Really nicely done. So if you want to use it, make sure to let me know if you are using it. Make sure to let me know if you downloaded it. And uh, I guess that would be all for now. I shall not waste any more of your time. Please check out this mod. Download it if you want to. Make sure to let me know if you encounter any more mods that you want me to, to check out. Link them in... Uh, well, not link them. Because I banned the links. But you can, uh, you can uh, post the name of the mod in the comment and I will find it myself. As long as it, it is a mod for PC. It should be on Nexus or on the Bethesda.net site for PC mods. Because I don't have Fallout on the consoles. And I don't really give a shit about that. I don't want to play that. So, uh, we're gonna focus on PC stuff. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to let me know everything that I already said. So, why am I repeating myself? I don't know. But either way... Thanks for watching, make sure to check out the other things that are linked everywhere, and uh, I shall see you next time! I have been Petard, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.